Thank you. Today, I am extremely pleased to introduce this year's winner of CD's Leadership Award, my good friend and colleague, Max Wallace. Max is the consummate leader of all things entrepreneurial. This Leadership Award is about an individual who has provided incredible leadership as well as made an impact in the biotech community and industry. Max, as some of you may know, is an attorney by training. And he started at Duke University, where he was, was counsel for Duke Medical School and the first director of the Duke management company. And as part of that, he began interacting with scientists at Duke who were interested in starting companies but had no idea how to commercialize their discoveries. Of course, today, Duke, Carolina, and NC State are magnificent at bringing little companies forward and translating science. But in those days, was that the 80s, Max? 1980s, it wasn't so easy. And Max did this several times, including with Sphinx, which was ultimately acquired by Lilly, and Trimeris, which was an HIV AIDS company that went public and was ultimately merged with another company. And Sarco was yet another one that was acquired by Fred Escherman's company, PPD. So he's done it multiple times. He's a serial entrepreneur. There aren't that many. How many in the crowd are serial entrepreneurs? Not many. How many are entrepreneurs? At least one time, right? Great. Max is one of those people who never gives up. He is relentless. He is fearless. And it was interesting for me to note that one of his favorite books is Everything You Need to Know You Learned in Kindergarten. Don't know how many of you would agree with that. But that particular author talks about the importance of fairness, honesty, trust, and respect. And those are values that, Max, I've seen you emulate. And I've always found that to be true when I have interacted with Max on a number of occasions. Max has now moved into the nonprofit world, which I think is so interesting because it's venture philanthropy. And it allows him to take all the skills that he had in academia to building and growing companies and now the nonprofit venture philanthropy sector. He has been, for the last 10 years or so, the CEO of what's called ABC Squared, which is Accelerate Brain Cancer Cure. Some of you may know that it was founded by the Case family, Steve Case, founder of AOL, due to a family member who had died of glioblastoma. And last night, Max told me that it was a job that when he was asked by the Case family to do it, he thought he'd do it for one or two years and it would be interesting. He then said to me, I've been doing it 10 years and it is my life's job. What you may not know about ABC Squared is they have, they have provided millions of dollars over the last 10 years under Max's leadership for doing brain cancer research. They have funded over 30, I think, clinical trials and some of the money that they placed has gone into companies like Agios, which has gone public. And that was their first money in. So Max was one of those people who would believe early. There are probably many people in this room that have had some sort of interaction with Max that connected them with someone else. Max is a catalyst. He's a connector. I know that my own partner, Clay Thorpe of Hatteras, said that Max was in part responsible for his career because he was in the nonprofit world and went to Max for advice on biotechnology idea. So we're very pleased to have Max win this award, representing all of the work that he has done from Duke to all the companies that he started multiple times. He was also chair, by the way, of the board of the Council for Entrepreneurial Development and was always someone that if he called you, you pretty much said yes. I can remember a couple of times if Ma Max asked you, you knew it was something important that needed to be done. So please welcome to the stage Max Wallace. Thank you for all, of, all that you are doing and will be doing in the future.
Christy, thank you. What a nice thing. And all of this is a nice thing. I am so pleased and honored to be here and to receive this award. Frankly, I'm a little surprised. You know, I've always operated kind of down at the grassroots cockroachy level. And so it's fun to be among my friends and to have this happen today. Um, my business partner, David Sandak, flew down from Boston for this. I'm very pleased, but I think the reason he did it is he wanted to reiterate some lessons about doing this type of talk. He said there are three rules. Be brief, be funny, and be seated. So I'm going to try and follow that. Um, but I want to talk for just a minute about why I think this is all so important. In my life, doing this cockroachy work, um, I look back and I think what I was really good at was building tree houses. I found really smart people who were growing really interesting technologies. And we joined up and built structures and then invited really good people to join us. And those tree houses grew. Well, isn't that really what CED is when you think about it? I used to joke um, about CED. I said, if you've ever seen the bar scene from Star Wars, that's CED. <laughs> and the reason for that is entrepreneurs, by their very nature, are kind of lonesome. You know, they're doing something that nobody else is doing because we don't have redundancy in startup companies. Each company is unique, and you think you are alone. The problems that you face are so unique to you. And then they come to CED and realize, well, yeah, they may be aliens, but look at all the aliens here. And I think that I had a permanent seat at the bar at CED. And it's a wonderful thing because look at how big the treehouse has grown. CED should be so proud of the, the welcoming, gathering, supportive nature of what it has built. It is the reason this is one of the world's great technology regions. So for me to get an award from you, my friends, and from CED, and from people that I like and respect and admire so much is truly great. Thank you so much.